Was it was it always Penn State being a East PA guy? No, I was Rutgers first. What? Uh, yeah, it was Rutgers first. Rutgers? Yeah. Yeah. I've been there my whole life pretty much, right? That's I wasn't big recruit. I got my stars later on. But at the time, like I was 16, 15, 155 pounds. I can't imagine you. What were you doing on, on JV? JV Time out. <laughs> to be honest, I wasn't that good. I wasn't really that good at that. Like I was a kind of a late bloomer. I don't believe it. Okay. After my, no, I swear. I After my sophomore year, like that's when I was like, I start getting that mentality and like I start getting into the weight room and start grinding and pushing myself. But Rutgers offered me straight off of like potential that I never even seen in myself. Wow. And you know, Coach Wilson, Norris Wilson, he was a running back coach at the time under flood. Obviously I ended up decommitting and I played Penn I went to Penn State. My first start ended up being against Rutgers. That's, and, that's how it works. Yeah. And <laughs> I went stupid and I remember Coach Flood was like got fired or something and he Coach Wilson was the interim head coach. And went up to him, and I made—I was the one to make sure because like, he's the one who gave me my. You know how it works in college that like, you get a scholarship, and then that's when other teams. Start, you get that one you know, offer. Buying, yeah, yeah, you start buying in. He pulled me aside and it was like, you know, just looked my eyes and it was, it was like I knew I seen something special in you. And like it almost like brought me to tears because I was like, this person like that's dope. That's why you need sometimes. Sometimes you need someone to have belief in you and take a chance on you. And um, I'm forever grateful for. Obviously, I never played there, but you know, I don't think I ever get to the point I am if it's not for that moment. Right on, bro. That's crazy.